Hello, everybody. Where did I even start? I have a hundred subscribers. Thank you for that. I've got about 900 videos on my channel. Feel free to go through them. Normally, I like to try the daily thing. It's been a good... It's just good. As I'm having a lot of fun, like setting the goal for myself and going through it, you know. Um, right now, there would normally be another part of Frog Song. But in case you can't tell, I'm not very well, all of a sudden. And I don't know what brought it on. So, I'm kind of cheating, and I'm just having a little how do you do video. So, how do you do? You doing well? Read anything fun recently? Um... God, what do you even do in these kind of ones, man? I've never seen myself. Well, you can see behind me, look. If you ignore the messy bed, I've got my fox. You can reverse to be an angry fox. I've got the squid of rage. I don't know where my other one's gone. There should be a small one. A small squid. You can also see my beard oil. It's the other way. Beard oils. Snacks. Uh, just don't look at the floor in my room, cause like oh, I've got washing to put away. I've got I've got like I've got a pack of prescription I need to put away. Oh, that cage thing that's I'm not good at directions this way. Yeah, that way. The the kind of thing that the squids and stuff sitting on. That's where I keep all my medicines sorted out. I don't know why you do that. I could literally just take them at the banks, but nah. I don't know. I had the free time one day, and I was like, I'm going to organise my pills. Uh, as of this moment, I'm going to be going through, just for the lack of things to do, I'm going to be going through that Frog Song's definitely one. And do you know what? Yeah, so I'm going to keep going through Soldiers. Um, but I think for this week, just for the sake of, like, low energy, as in, I'm ill. I'm just going to be getting some kind of low-key horrors off of Itchio. Um, <coughs> sorry. Uh, there was a couple of ones I've seen, Man the Bad Ass Hero play, that are the RPG-style ones, and they did kind of invoke thoughts and emotions that like one of them I've got back back excuse me sorry even well ill I'm still be yawning into the microphone for goodness sake one of them's called the coffin of Andy and something or other Andy and Lily I really love the, the art style on it and uh, it's, it's very very weird very very weird game and I, I'm definitely going to that one. Uh, again, there will be no surprises for me, but it'll be good fun to go through. Um, there's another one as well called Help Him. Uh, it's a 2D style one. I've done quite a few 2D horrors. There's a few games that I mean to go back to, but like, I just can't really find the time nor place to go back to them, if that makes sense. There's been a couple that I've downloaded recently where my um, computers either not random, or, well no, that's just, I guess that's just it, <laughs> got nothing else to really say, it's my computer couldn't handle it, <laughs> that's pure and simple, I'm trying to get another computer, but, uh, where is his there, there was a Ken Forrest, yeah, like I've, I've done a few of his games, on my channel. I love them ones. Ken Forrest is the person that done the um, drone delivery game in the Please Don't Let Her. You know, the games that made me think way too much. He also done the toilet rooms. He's the one with the goose in his game, put it that way. Um, and he done that really cool LiDAR game. I love that game. That was such a cool wee idea. There was like a kind of extended version, not Ken Forrest, but like Someone done a, like an a extended version of that kind of game. Why am I not logged in to you all of a sudden? Oh man. 
Anyway, he also done one called Moth House. I like moths. Moths are kind of cute. I'll maybe do that one too then. Anyway, uh, what I was saying is, it was this one. I think he done a while back called Wheat Harvest Paradox. I'll probably do that. So, I'll probably just be doing short indie games for like a week just to try and get this out of my system. That's pretty much all I can say to that, really. But in terms of going forward, I think I've posted my schedule on the community. Is that what you call it on YouTube? Whatever it is. We're by the Monday will be first series, Tuesday will be second series, Wednesday will always, always, always be a Nietzsche horror. Well, not necessarily a Nietzsche horror, a horror in general. Um, Thursday, Frog Song, Friday, Soldiers, Saturday, a horror. And Sunday, I will be going through Homebody until I have completed that game, whereby I will choose another horror game. Um, specifically a longer longer horror games is what I'm trying to aim for on the Sunday. Um, if I don't have the horror games that are longer to go through, um, if I'm just not in the mood for one, I'm probably going to be doing my point and click games then. I've also been uploading my Final Fantasy 14 playthroughs where I've been going through the MSQ. I have a lot of those to upload. It's just organising them and putting them up. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. I'm going to need to be getting it done soon because that folder's getting meaty again. Um, I said it before, I said it again, I might as well just say it now. The point of me doing this is because I wanted to go through the MSQ now that it's been changed. And I was going to gather a bunch of footage together and use it to practice editing. So, edit out all the travelling to and from, just have a really edited down version of the MSQ, but it's just me. I'm uploading it raw, because, frankly, I've not got the storage space. Oops. Who would have thought? 24 odd streams of a MMO on high resolution tends to take up quite a lot of room on a PC. I believe the last time I cleared out it was a good 80 gigabit. It's <laughs> already up to that again. Ever streams between, excuse me, sorry. Ever streams between, like, uh, depending on if it's if it's one of the really smaller streams that are about five gig. I think the worst, notorious one I had was I done for about four hours, and that was about what was that twelve gig or something like that. So it starts to stack up. They'll never come out at regular times. They'll always come out at half seven in the evening my time. Just as if I've ever got a bonus video, that's when bonus video come out. Always. Why do I pick these times? Arbitrary. One, two, three, seven is my, my lucky number. I don't know why. 1,237. I don't know where it came from, but one, two, three, seven is what I say when I'm going to lift some. Or whatever, you know. It, it came from somewhere. It wouldn't have just been me. I actually think it was my family. It came from my family, whereby, um, you know, you go one, two, three, lift. Well, I, for some reason, it was one, two, three, seven. I, I don't know why, but I've just decided arbitrarily that that's my lucky number. So any combination of one, two, three, and seven seems to be my lucky numbers. No, that is not indicative of anywhere else in my life. I don't use those numbers anywhere else. Stop trying. Um, but yeah, that's the reason for the times. If anybody's got any suggestions for games and stuff they want to see me play or anything like that, like comments are always there. Just drop a like, drop a comment, drop a whatever. There's also a Twitter linked in my descriptions along with any game that I've played. The first, <coughs> the first video in a series always has the game linked on it. Once I eventually get to making playlists for them, it should be linked there. Um, if you want to check out any kind of pages for it, oh god, I feel ill. If the game is free, obviously you can download it and play it yourself if you're on any kind of desktop or whatever. But at your pages and stuff are always linked. Big games like Frog Song and Soldiers and Bloody Harvestella, which I played for far too long. Um, those are a link 
the page or source of those games in the first one and in the last one. So I don't have to do everything because I'm lazy. I never thought I'd ever get to a hundred to be honest. Like that's pretty cool, man. Hello. Um Yeah, and it's it's stayed at a hundred because for a while my <laughs> It was kind of yo-yoing, like it was like people were subbing and then people were unsubbing, and I was just just bouncing backwards and forwards between. It was like eighty-seven and ninety-two, and it was just like, hmm, something's not quite right. But it's been a uh, hundred subs and stayed that way for a few days, so whee! I'm proud of myself. Um, oh damn, I see a lot of people liked watching me play Frog Song. Holy crap! That's adorable though. That's adorable though. I love cute things. Cute things. And my aesthetics for horror generally tend towards spooky, haunted places. Zombies, not scary. Gross. Yeah. I like to make the distinction between the feeling of terror and the feeling of horror, which is more the feeling of revulsion to me. So, zombies do good for that kind of thing. Like, there's nothing gross other than a walking corpse kind of coming towards you. It does invoke that feeling of, ew. Oh, or oh, I want to be away from that. That's that's horror. But that's sort of the feeling of being terrified. <laughs> a lot of the more popular things nowadays don't really get me, like analog horror or the backgrounds. There's fun concepts, and I like playing through the fun concepts of them. But I don't get the ooh, that a lot of people get. I don't know. I actually think sometimes I'm a little too dense. <laughs> Whatever. Well, in case you get, how the hell did I talk for ten minutes? In case you can't tell, I'm a, I'm a mousy bastard. But, um, yeah, well, thanks for checking out my stuff. There will always be more. And, uh, again, I've said all the other bits that need to be said, so I'm just going to stop now. Good luck. Bye, guys. Uh, slap button.